a purple minion from Despicable Me 2. So for my purple minion, I put some extra secure bands at the top so that it looks like he's got hair. And I'm going to make the arms longer than arms and other things that I would like. So first I'm going to show you how to make one arm so I already made another. So I'm just going to take my stick and take it out of there. So I'm going to make sure that my limb, first of all, is a rectangle. So the top and the bottom of it both are flat. So I'm going to take one flat rubber band at the very bottom of the limb, limb and twist it into a figure eight on the bottom two pegs of it. Then I'm going to take another flat rubber band and just place it on the top figure eight of it. So I'm first going to take another circle and place it on the top. Now I'm going to take a hook and reach on the side and just grab the bottom one peg and just put it on the side. You don't reach under, you just go off to the side and pull it. Same as on this side, just on the side, and then just place it over top of that. So it looks like it's a circle, two circles with a loop on it. So I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to make another one purple rubber band. And now I'm going to reach under and grab and just put it on the side and grab this one curved band from the bottom for the black one and then another bottom one for the black one pull it a little bit at the bottom and reach down and then pull it over and we're going to do that same step three times and we're going to count so that there aren't 10 or 11 elastics purple elastics
Okay, um, so clear band for you, so I'm just going to leave it there. Now I'm going to use the band tape. From now on, you're always going to use two bands together. So I'm going to take the two bands and place them between the second peg of the left and the second peg of the right. I mean, the, uh, the middle. Yeah, the middle. And you're going to do the same step over here. another two circle elastic and place it on the second peg down the third peg on the right side and on the middle peg on the left if you don't have room for your elastic at the top then push the rest down and just make sure you're done so now the top of the head is done for our minion and now we're going to start the the body or the eyes of the minion. So I'm going to have to use a bit of your clear glass over there and place them on the third peg, the fourth peg, and the middle. And then on either side of that, push through the middle of the band. two white elastics and put them on the middle here and undo and use that glass. Another two black elastics on the other side of the white. Same thing over here. And then we'll put another two circles right there. what you should have so far on your minion. So you, you've done the forehead, so the top of the head, the goggles for the minion, and a little bit for the body. So we're going to do one more layer down here of two circle elastic on the left, on the middle, third set of elastics, and on the right side. we're going to move on to the bottom part of the body, so the uh, shirt or the suit that the minion is wearing, so for mine it's blue, it's a turquoise blue. If you have dark blue, you can use dark blue also, just like on other minions that I've made, you can do dark blue for the hair instead of turquoise. two turquoise over there, right there, the same as the other. Same thing. And there. Now we're going to do another layer of the turquoise. And don't take the elastic this time. going to take the two turquoise elastics and only put them on the right side and on the left side, not in the middle. Because you're going to see the light through the hole in between. Now take one black rubber band and at the bottom where the lights are, hook it around. Do the figure eight shape a few times over about four times and then do the same thing on top so that way the, your tapping band divides the light I just need to get one more black elastic oh this on the other thread tapping off tap it twist it Before we put on the bands to hold the body together, 
you're going to take one of your arms and put it right where the blue and the purple go together. So it's right where that is. So there's your arm. And we're going to do the same thing with the other arm. You can do this with your fingers as close if you'd like. But I'm using my hook for the ring. There we go. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now push down your band along your minion. it so you double the band and then place it right along the so along the ring. What you can do is you can also double it on your fingers like that and then you place it on. But I go in with my sister arm. For this one where the arms are, you can choose to either do a purple or a blue. I'm going to be using blue. So you double it again. So it appears and it, when you have the elastic on your minion, it looks like there's two rubber bands, but it's one and it's just double. Now take the purple one place it on top here. Another purple. Place it on top here. Double it. Stretch it across. Like that. Now for this one right here, you can do either purple or another black. Depending on what you want your minion to look like. For this one, I use black for in the middle, but for this one, I'm going to use purple. So purple all the way through. Another one at the top. You can't forget to use rubber bands because if you forget to put those on, you don't you're not going to put them on the top here. But if you forget to put those on, then what will happen is your minion won't come together and meet, um, squish together like this one. It'll just come in straight bands, and you don't want that to happen. Now for hooking your minion, we're going to start all the way at the bottom where your feet are, and we're going to reach under the black half band Grab the two bottom blue elastics, make sure those are going to come off, and hook it onto itself using a really soft string. Again, reach under, hook it, hooks itself, then put it onto the neck cover, or the head cover, I should say. Now you're going to do that all the way up the body, and then when you get to this head at the top here, you're going to loop it onto this one. with yours, so the wrong elastic or something, or it just says on the head, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen, if it does, try and put it back on, you just want to keep making those loops all the way through, all the way through, every time you grab it by the ankle, you hook it on itself. Place the bottom here, and 
whole minion body should have this raindrop or teardrop shape for the whole body and the arms will be sticking out from the side here. Now we're going to be doing the last part and then we'll get into the second part. So reach under and grab one elastic, only one elastic from the bottom. One elastic and this one when you pull it, one of these elastic here will close up. So it'll tighten, and then you put the elastic on whichever is tight, the elastic tightener. You reach under and grab one, hold it with the peg, grab the other one, slip it off, and pull. Now grab another one singular rubber band from the bottom. Stretch out the arms a little bit, roll the 
buy you what, the way you want your minion to look like. And there is your custom minion from Despicable Me 2. So you can make more and have 